When you play a lotto game, the chances of you picking the right numbers depend on the game, but range anywhere from 1 in 8 million to 1 in 80 million. That makes your chances of winning very low, but it is a number game, so can you increase your chances of winning with math? Suppose you play a lotto game where you have to guess 3 correct numbers from 6. The odds of you winning are 3 on 6 times 2 on 5 times 1 on 4. That's a probability of 1 in 20 that you win. You watch the lotto draw for a few weeks and see the following numbers are pulled. 146, 246, 462, 264, 431 and 126. You notice that a lot of 6's have been drawn and not a single 5. Due to regression to the mean, we would expect that over a long period of time all numbers should be drawn the same amount. This means that the numbers which have been drawn less in the past should be drawn more likely in the future in order to balance the numbers. You decide to buy a lotto ticket and choose the numbers which have been drawn the least, as these should be more common in the future. Creating a graph, you can see how many times each number has been drawn. You see 5 hasn't been drawn, and 3 is quite rare as well. After that, 1 is the rarest. Your instinct tells you that in order for all the numbers to be drawn an even amount of times, 5, 3 and 1 should be a more likely combination to win the next round than other numbers. You enter the lotto with the numbers 1, 3 and 5. Does this really work? Let's test it in real life. The state of Victoria, where I live in Australia, offers five different lotteries. I calculated the odds of winning each and found the best to have odds of 1 in 8 million. That particular game involved guessing six numbers from a pool of 45. I researched the history of the lotto game starting in 1972 and added up the weekly number draws for the last 43 years. This represents 3,156 individual draws, and such, as seen in the table, the spread of numbers is fairly even, but the rarest should, according to our theory, still be pulled more often. The six rarest numbers are 44, 17, 14, 27, 30, and 35. And now, tonight's Tats Lotto draw. Hi everyone, Stefan Popovich here for Saturday's Lotto Draw. Total prize book tonight is over $43.4 million. Our first ball out tonight is number 31. Total number 20, total original prize book is $21 million each one. This is number 12, it's draw number 3,265. This is number 38. Our official income and supervisor are with you tonight. This is number 43, last week we had just one lucky one million, we picked up over $4 million. Well, I didn't win. The theory was supposed to increase my chances, not guarantee a win. But the fact that I didn't even get one number right seems to suggest that perhaps the theory is wrong. That's because regression to the mean doesn't actually increase the chances of pulling a number which has been pulled less. The balls have no memory of the ball which was pulled before it, let alone a ball pulled 40 years ago. Yet we still expect the balls to be drawn an even amount of times, without one being pulled more than the other. How this can happen can be explained through a simple example. Currently, in my local lotto, number 44 has been drawn 253 times, while the number 8 has been drawn 312 times, a difference of 19%. Suppose in many years, each ball has been drawn another 1,000 times each. That's 1,253 and 1,312 draws respectively. The difference between these two numbers is only 4.5%. Without drawing one number more than the other, the percentage of times each number was pulled will slowly reach the average. This is regression to the mean, and that is the reason you can't win the lotto with math.